And so, um, so the decision was made to go up. I will say also that these, that the area we're in has very long, skinny lots. So we were already, we already had a pretty long, skinny house. And so the only way to really expand would have been to make it go back even further or to be even closer on one side to, to our neighbors. So um, we didn't have a lot of flexibility side to side on the lot. Yeah. So um, then going um, into the sort of what we create, you know, what the design process um, involved. So the blue spaces are bedrooms and the yellow space is sort of uh, circulation space. And so what you're seeing here is a floor, floor plans, the bottom, first floor is on the bottom, second floor is on the top, and to the right is a section cut. So it's like cutting through the house across section. And um, so on the bottom floor plan, you can see the sort of dashed uh, lines in there. That's where the original walls were. And essentially we took one of the bedrooms, um, one of the things that people um, have it's always surprising for a lot of people is how much uh, space stairs take. And so, you know, you can see the stairs um, there take up um, a good portion of that bedroom, the original bedroom. And so one bedroom became the stairs, that orange space, and then the rest of it became um, a laundry room. That's, uh, we'll talk, mention a little later and, and the uses for that room. And then the blue space, the bedroom stayed, but we opened it to the backyard. So there's a window now, there was a closet along the back. We opened it more um, with visually to the backyard. And that bedroom um, changed in proportion and shape a little bit to allow the hallway area, that, that open area from the kitchen um, to be more wider. It almost doubled in width and then you have double doors going out to the backyard. And then upstairs, you can see the footprint of the upstairs is not quite as big as the downstairs. And that was by intention. We kept trying to shrink it back, shrink it back until it was, everything was about at the minimum size it could be to function well and to feel comfortable. And um, the idea there is that area on the left side is the backyard. And um, when, if we had taken the full um, second story all the way to the left edge to the backyard, then in the backyard, when we were looking at it, it would be, it would feel really imposing. So the, the um, concern there was to have that backyard feeling not feel like you're being, your, your house is towering over you. Um, and uh, then on the right side, that the cross section, I just am showing that because um, to get the height of the whole um, addition down so that it didn't feel like this tall, imposing second floor, uh, we use scissor trusses uh, on the roof. So that allows your pitched roof, your typical gable roof, but then your your ceilings inside are also vaulted and pitched. And you can see this space in there we have, and Doug will talk about this a little bit in a bit. Um, we have lots of space for insulation. 